Um, so, Nanette, what prompted you to study with Skills Gen in the first place? Um, it was a tr- change of career. It was the first choice. Yeah. Um, I'd been a chef for so many years and just wanted to get out of the industry. Mm-hmm. Um, the passion to try and help people who needed help. Did you find that, like, there was any tools in the uh, hospitality industry that helped you? Leadership skills, for sure. Yeah. Um, coming from a role where I had a team underneath me, I could just the communication between teams and stuff is so much important in this job. After you'd already decided to do a course with us, um, when you were going through it, what was your actual favorite aspect of the course? Just the help and the, the amazing team that everybody behind the scenes, I was getting emails all the time. Everybody was asking if I was okay. My trainer, she was just amazing. Yeah, She was okay. always there every step of the way to help. Alrighty. And so, did you like that the course had different delivery methods when you were doing it? Like, did you like that you could do some things online and that you could also do other things in person? Yes, for sure. Um, we did a lot of Zoom meetings. Um, I never got to meet Rayleigh, mm-hmm. um, which was amazing because it was any time that we were both available. Yeah, we just got, the, got it done. It was good. Yeah. Where did your course eventually land you? So what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm actually a team leader. I've gone that far. I've, yeah, I first nice. started started studying my individual support and then I went on straight away even when I was halfway through it I just loved being back into study yeah so I did my diploma in hospitality nice alrighty um so and so what was it made you choose to do the course through us necessarily well the professionalism professionalism of your ads I think on Facebook is where I first came across it yeah It, it just looked very inviting Alrighty. Well, that's great to hear. Would you take this route again if you were in the same place as you were originally or would you do it a different way? No, I would definitely do it the same way. Same way? Would you hope for the same trainer? Definitely. (laughs) On my second one, I'd requested Rayleigh. She was just amazing. Oh, that's good to hear. So do you have any advice that you would normally give uh, any future students that are thinking about uh, studying as an adult learner or changing careers? Don't hesitate. If you're not happy in your current job and you want to better yourself, and because that's what exactly what I've done is I've bettered myself. I'm so much happier. Jump in and do it. Yeah, all righty. Um, so how did you actually finance your studies? Um, with my the first one, um, that was all funded for me. It yeah. was so amazing. All the applications, all that came through, it was all funded. But when I, went, when I did the second one, um, because I'd already had a diploma previously. Yep. Um, they offered me a vet loan. All righty. Um, so they sent me all that information that I needed and that was so easy to apply for. Sweet. All righty. Um, and so with the vet student loan, how did it necessarily help you um, to get your diploma? The, the no stress of having that to fork out any money or anything. It was all all taken care of. It just made it so much easier. So everything was sent to me. Like, it was just so easy. All righty. Well, that's great. When you initially got offered the vet student loan, what were your thoughts? I was apprehensive because I'd never really done any digging about it. Like, I didn't look into it previously with my other studies. Yeah. But once I got read through everything, it was easy to understand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so where can you actually see your career that you're in progressing to? Very bright future. So, yeah, I'm a team leader now. I've gone from a support worker to a key worker, and now I'm in a team leader role. So 